right? I think it's really interesting because even at this age, age of 24, I'm suddenly realizing how important it is to be like financially aware yeah. and known how to live within your means. That's right. And I think, like you said, you, you don't get taught that in school. No. Because if no. you did, you might be a bit savvy and there wouldn't be any debt and there wouldn't be anything. And, you know, not going into that much. But um, but yeah, I do think it's important. And um, I mean, I don't know. So it, we have to educate people. Yeah. Definitely. And, and so what does that mean? Right. And how do you find, like you said, getting a mentor, I guess? Yeah. I yeah. mean. You know, so what did what did he teach me? He taught me, you know, it's like you said, it's living within your means. How do you manage your cash flows? Making sure that, um, you know, when you're in the States as a young person in college, all of a sudden you get all these credit cards yes. sent to you, right? <laughs> and if you're not smart, you start thinking, ooh, free money, I can do this, and I can go out, and I can do, and you run up all this debt, mm -hmm. and then your credit, you know, history well, goes down yeah. the tubes. Your, yes. Your credit rating is abysmal. Yes. And... By the time you're ready to actually buy whatever your first property or whatever or get a loan for anything, you can't. Yes. Or you're going to get a ridiculous interest rate. Yeah. yeah. So it's about teaching people how to manage their money day to day. Mm -hmm. Getting the right discipline in order so that when you are, if you are broke when you're earning 100 a week you, and you don't learn discipline, when you're earning 10000 a week. Yeah. Uh, just just figure yeah, just numbers, you're yeah. still going to be broke mm -hmm. yeah right yeah mm -hmm. if you don't learn so how to you, manage it, yeah. you know right you have to learn to manage it K get rid of your debt put money aside every paycheck mm. and save money so that when you're ready to invest and get take it to the next level or invest in your own business idea yeah. you're ready and your 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 credit rating is high enough because when i'm looking at somebody who says would you be willing to invest in my business yeah so I was going to ask yeah. that question. How yeah. do you decide right. um, so who this, to invest in? This is in? a segue. Like if it's, a, if it's an individual business idea, um, I'm looking at, you know, a lot of people have great ideas. Yes. So one, is the person risk worthy? Mm. Have they gotten their act together? Are they investing their own money in, in, in this endeavor? Like do they have any skin in the game? Have they been yeah. able to be financially disciplined enough personally? Yeah. Because if they haven't, then what's going to tell me they're going to do that when they have a business? Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. So financially fit, save their money, got some skin in the game. Yeah. And, and, and the people, are they, are they the right people involved to actually make the, make the business idea successful to, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. see it to, you know, um, do they have the skill set to yeah. actually deliver what they're saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Um, so it's a number of things. And uh, some of it too is the, you sometimes have to go with your gut feeling as well, yeah. the connection with the person and so forth. Yeah. Do you really believe, you know, in what they're saying and, and their passion and so forth? So yes. It's a, you know, you, but I think for every young person, you know, you really need to work on making sure you're financially fit so that you can then, when you're ready, you move to the next level. And if you don't mind me asking quite mm -hmm. a bit of a personal question, or not personal to you, but yeah. personal question anyway, and feel free to say no if you don't okay. want to answer the question. But... um. Do you mind telling us as in the audience of millennials what might be maybe the biggest amount of money you've invested in a company as in as a group or alternatively yeah. what's the biggest you've made from a company because i think sometimes we hear about these things but they're yeah. not they're not tangible to us they're not practical well you know us. at angel investor i haven't done you know up to 500 but you know mm. I, I i have been a team of people who have invested collectively 750,000 into oh, something yeah. right um you 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 invest your money you make money you build and you don't spend more than you earn yeah. so mm. it's back to money management <laughs> it is yeah. it's it's a basic tool yeah. that you need it's yeah. like you know reading and writing and yes. managing your money and how yeah. to you know you you really need to and, and you'll get there and and as a as a community if we can educate ourselves to be better to be more financially fit yeah. then collectively together we can do other things yes mm. right and and really that's what it boils down to it you mm. know what we see is as part of the network so mm -hmm. financial empowerment is one of the things that we want to work on yeah as a group of women coming together educating us and then we deliver that to the community i think yeah. that's so important 